are Nikki and Carlo and our family live in Positano, Italy, nearly 500 steps from the road but surrounded by fruit and olive trees and with a fabulous view. Our garden overlooks the sea and we grow our own food. We show you what life is really like on the Amalfi Coast. So please subscribe and welcome to the Positano Diary. This week, the sun came out. After weeks of rain for us, it was magical to feel the warmth on our faces and see the cheerful blue sky. We decided to make the most of each beautiful day by spending as much time outside as we could, walking, picnicking and exploring. Our car was still at the mechanics, so we had no option really but to walk, but we wanted to be outside as much as we could. This waterfall is tucked away in a back street in Positano and can be seen from the road. But in summer it dries up to just a trickle and is mostly unnoticed by passers-by. Sometimes I made lunch at home to take with us, but a couple of times we had sandwiches made in the deli. Eggplant, sun-dried tomatoes, and provolone cheese is my favourite. One day we walked up from Monte Pituso to Norcelle and then down the 1,200 steps to the road, stopping for lunch in a valley. Being out in nature is so good for us and we should all try to spend more time outside. A couple of times we simply took the long way down to the sea where we walked the beaches and cliff path. We ate lunch in a restaurant closed for the winter, chatting with Carlo's friends, the electricians, who happened to be working there and having lunch too. We felt so lucky to have a whole beach to ourselves, with warm sun shining down, salty air to breathe, and just the sound of the waves. In a few months' time, this area will be completely transformed into busy beach clubs, which we'll have to share with hundreds of other people. What are you making, my love? I am making a frittata. So basically we've got um, mozzarella. We had a huge mozzarella yesterday, which is enormous. That's what we've got left. So we're making a frittata with potatoes, mozzarella and onion and eggs, obviously. Uh, we're going down to visit Carla's parents, but we don't want them to cook lunch for us. So we thought it'd be nice to bring our own food and have a picnic. And I have now declared that 2023 is going to be the year of the picnics. Okay. So there's going to be lots of preparing food, taking it out and eating it out somewhere. Hopefully. Very nice idea. Yeah. yeah. Also, um, there's, there's the last few fennels in the garden. So I'm going to do a fennel on orange salad, stick that in a Tupperware box and bring that as well for something fresh. So I think that's going to be quite a nice little picnic. Hopefully... The sun will stay, it's like today it's sunny, so the rain has actually stopped two days ago and yesterday was quite nice and today is quite nice, so hopefully we're going to have a sunny few days. So I needed to put it under the grill for a bit to cook the top half and the pan has got plastic handles so we've wrapped them in tin foil hoping that they don't melt. I think they're fine and it's Maybe done. Oh, it's not bad. Yeah, the handles 
have survived, yes. <laughs> <laughs> non si sono squagliate i manici. Non recommend doing this, by the way. No, no, no. È che abbiamo usato la padella sbagliata, vero amore? I don't think we have another one that would Sì, before. abbiamo quello col manico lungo che rimane fuori. Ecco. That one. È perché c'ha il manico di metallo, quindi non... Eh beh, ogni tanto com commettiamo degli errori, vero amore? Spesso. <ride> ecco qua, si è bruciato un po' lì sotto? Mm, little bit, but it's okay. eh, mi piace, è più cotto, va bene. Okay. Ho gli occhiali da sole e anche l'ombrello. Perché? Perché questo l'ha prestato mia madre l'altro giorno che pioveva, adesso glielo riporto indietro. Ma se qualcuno mi vede così dice questo è pazzo, c'è una giornata stupenda che deve fare con l'ombrello. Papà mi ha affidato un compito di andare a prendere un po' di legna qua vicino. Adesso lo vado a prendere. Vieni con me? Sì, andiamo. Okay. Just wanted to quickly show you the oven in the kitchen at Carlo's aunt's house. Isn't that an incredible oven? So this is a bread oven or a pizza oven and they actually built this before they built the house. So they built the house around the oven and um, as the house was being built... Oh, Daddy! <laughs> they decided to have a big pizza party and test out the oven to make sure that everything worked and that it gave good bread. So apparently they had a big pizza night where they made hundreds and hundreds of pizzas with all different types of flour and Carla remembers it to this day. Ah, so, sì, me lo ricordo bene. <laughs> imagine having one of these in your house. <laughs> eh, questa è una cosa grandiosa. With dogs everywhere at the moment, <laughs> surrounded by dogs. Natale di quando abbiamo fatto 53 anni di matrimonio. Wow, it's beautiful. E spero che mi rimane, se la curo bene può rimanere pure per l'anno prossimo. Sì, è proprio bella. Non vi ho mai preventa presenta presentato, non vi ho mai presentato, <ride> mia zia Rosalia. Eccola qua. Come la nonna. E lei, e lei anche come mio padre, gli piace curare le piante. Tutti sì, nella famiglia lo facciamo. Sì, sì, Curiamo sì. le piante, ci, ci piace fare i giardinieri. Pure. E cosa stai preparando per pranzo oggi? Pasta e zucca. Pasta e zucca. Indotte. Like, um, Indotte. Ah, it's a lovely little plant that she's got growing and she's just given me some apparently I can just stick it in the ground it will grow but it's lovely it's like peas on strings there you go it's like peas on strings that's the one I saw and then she's got an even bigger one over the other side of the garden plant with a view this wood gathering mission is taking hours now we're having a tour of the garden here are the pretty flowers Five hours later. Siamo in Italia. Per fare una cosa ci vorrebbe dieci minuti, in realtà ci vogliono dieci ore, perché ogni persona che incontri vuoi chiacchierare. Questo sono io. Uh, probably. Ce la fai? Che brava! Ti seguo! Fai attenzione! Fai attenzione! Thank you. 
So we ended up having our picnic at uh, my in-laws house. Now we've come down to the beach for a walk. So it looks like Indy might have found one of her little sisters here. Let's go have a closer look. Indeed, not yours. You're so much tinier than all the others, aren't you? As you know, our car is at the mechanics. We might might, 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 if we're very, very lucky, get it back this afternoon. Maybe not. Um, so for now, we're actually borrowing Luca's car, which is actually our old car two cars ago. <laughs> so... <laughs> yeah, yeah. So basically, all of our old cars have stayed in the family. So this was our um, older car, let's like, say, 10 years ago. And we sold it to Luca. And then the car we got after that... Tommaso has now so we're we're very lucky because we still have cars that we can use and even Elizabeth who's got away for a few days um, and she's borrowed her friend's car which is bigger than hers she's left us her car as well so we've actually got three cars that we could use at the moment <laughs> the two-headed monster eh quando c'è la rete a proteggerci dai cani questo questo rumore Questa macchina cigola e fa dei rumori strani. Sembra come una di quelle dimore vecchie che come ci sono i fantasmi dentro. Can you hear that squeaking? It's the steering wheel. Yeah. C'è qualcosa della gomma che, che tocca della plastica. Sembra di guidare un trattore rispetto alla macchina che ci abbiamo adesso. È stranissimo. <laughs> e non devo dimenticare di cambiare le marce perché la nostra automatica è questa no. <laughs> it's funny. Thank you, Carl. She stopped trembling. So we, India has to be sterilised. Um, some people might be against that, but in Italy, there's so many stray dogs. There's so many dogs that aren't sterilised and end up pregnant that it's responsible to get a female dog sterilised so that there's not another puppy. Seeing as she was one of eleven, I'd hate for her to get pregnant and have eleven puppies. Um, so I'm sitting on the floor because we couldn't get her up on the table because she's wild and they've just given her a sedative and I can just feel she's just starting to... She's... But she stopped trembling now anyway, but yeah. Yeah, I've had a bel sbadiglio, now she's more relaxed. Yeah, she's going to just calm down and then they're going to do it and we can either pick her up later tonight or maybe leave her tomorrow morning as soon as we've got all those stairs to get down, obviously. That's a bit much for her to do tonight. Here you go, little baby. Come on, little beautiful girl. And hopefully, once this is done, we won't have to come and take her to the vets anymore for a long, long, long time. Dai, va bene, la dobbiamo portare a controllo. Just for little controls, but no more operations. I don't know how it is in vets in other countries because obviously I've only had animals in Italy but here you're sort of quite involved in what happens so she's been um, tranquilised now and I have to keep, well I don't have to keep hold of her, I could put her on the metal table but until she goes floppy um, we're still here and we get to be part of it and then I mean, pr probably could even stay around for the operation. In fact the cats were sterilised on the ironing board in the living room um, and the vet came to our house and did it there. So you really do get to see what is happening. And also they send the video of the operation afterwards. So when Indy had her problem when she was younger, when she was four months old and had a twisted intestine, we actually got sent the video of the operation afterwards. Never looked at it, but got it if I needed it. <laughs> I think she's uh, gone now. She's <laughs> floppy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah? She's si still dormitando. Oh. I stayed with Indy until she was intubated, intubato, <laughs> I have to say that in English, I'm going to wait. 
We stayed with Indy until they started intubing her. I'm sure that's not the right word. When they put a tube down her throat, anyway. And then we left her, and they're going to give us a call later and let us know whether we can pick her up tonight or tomorrow morning. And we're now off to do a little bit of shopping because I need a new yoga mat because I managed to lose my yoga mat last year. Um, I had some yoga glasses in Priano and I'd go with Elizabeth and it either got lost in Elizabeth's car or I left it at the gym in Priano. Um, and I don't have one at the moment, so definitely need to go and get a yoga mat. And I think we'll probably have lunch out as well. This is the sort of place that we really don't come very often. Which means that when we do, I find it quite exciting. So exciting, in fact, that I forgot to take you with me, but this is what I've bought. I got a nice extra thick yoga mat a little yoga block and some weights for good measure. Now I just need to start using them every day. Come here. Molto buono. Very light. So um, I haven't had a pizza for months and months and months and I've been really wanting one lately. We've come to Castellamare. We're in a little restaurant called Wamana. Not Wamana. 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 Oh, Wamana. Um, which is actually owned by a friend of mine or an ex colleague of mine called Pasquale. And he's not here at the moment. So if he arrives, we'll say hello to him. If not, we'll just have to eat his food and, and leave. It's a good day. Vuoi anche dire cosa c'è su questa pizza? So there's sausage, mushrooms, mozzarella, tomato, and basil, and olives. Very good. No, questo giusto perché ogni volta ogni volta che, che mangiamo qualcosa Nick inquadra me, ma non sono solo io quello che mangio, giusto? Yeah. All right. Buon appetito! Devo fare il portafoglio io. Mi piace così la pizza. Indy, so it's actually oh gosh, it's half past eight already. Um, the vets just messaged us and said that everything is fine and we're to call before we go and pick her up in the morning. We decided it was easiest to leave her there because it's pretty tough to get a full size dog down 500 steps when it's just had an operation and can't walk. So we'll pick her up tomorrow and then figure out whether we can carry her or whether she's gonna have to walk down. Che mi dispiace tantissimo di non averla qua a casa stasera. Ma anche, anche la dottoressa ha detto così che era yeah. meglio, era yeah. meglio rimanere It's là. It's very quiet here. It's just me, Carlo and Holly because Sky's actually away at the moment and Nicole is obviously with her and Indy's away too. So it's just us. Very quiet. I've got the whole sofa out. This is like the first time in months that I've actually been able to fit onto the sofa because it's not full of animals and people. But um, hopefully we'll pick up Indy first thing in the morning and then I will stay at home with her all day. Io sto tagliando la pera. Una pera? No. La ah, la vuoi allora? Che stronzo. Ok, siamo felici che tutto è bene, uh, è andato tutto bene per Indy. Adesso non vediamo l'ora che viene domani mattina così possiamo andarla a prendere. Yeah. Yeah. See you in the morning. It's the next morning, um, we're away to get Indy, she's absolutely fine, the vet said, so we're going to go pick her up. Luke is coming with us because it is also Carlo and Luca's mum's birthday, it's also Sky's birthday, Sky's away. So Luca has to pick up a cake, so we're all going together to pick up a cake and a puppy. Oh, 
all of them. Now we've got our uh, puppies back. And now we're going to go get cake. You're tired. No, lie down. Luca has just brought me into this little pastry shop, which I've heard about, but I've never been in. Oh, incredible. There's so much in here. It's tiny. Wow. Beautiful. It's for the journey. Just to give you an idea of what you could choose from. I mean, I'd just be here all day choosing. Watch and choose, watch and choose. And that's not all, that's just the three rows. And then we go up. Top shelves here, these are all called chiacchine, and these are classic desserts for carnival in Italy, which is coming up soon. One day, carnival, 21st of February. So that's what all of these are up here, and people are obviously coming in to get them. These just look stunning. Look at that. <laughs> no, non puoi sedere lo swindy. I'm halfway down the steps with Indy. She's um, obviously in quite a bit of discomfort walking down the steps, so I'm having to carry her. Carla has left me to do this on my own. He's gone to Luca's house and she's pretty heavy. Venite qua, ma uno solo che fotografi il turista qua, eh? Che bene fai tu? Quale cosa? Tanti auguri!